Tonight, no bond for 29-year-old Corey Patterson facing charges after police say he flew this twin-engine plane for more than five hours, threatening to crash into a Walmart before finally landing in this field. It ended nearly 50 miles north of where it began, Tupelo Regional Airport. Officials say Patterson worked here for nearly a decade, refueling planes. They say that gave him access to the aircraft, including the one authorities say he took early Saturday. Basically, it was a flying bomb with a lot of fuel in it that could have done a lot of damage. All of it is placing more attention on non-commercial plane safety. Experts say where TSA is not present, there is no standard security across the board, and it's very difficult to regulate. There's not screening because... That, that would be similar to screening you before you get into your own personal car or before you got into a taxi cab or something like that because of, if they either own their own plane or they're just chartering uh, another aircraft. And for employees, it varies from airport to airport, but even then... If I have authorization to be near the aircraft, there's, there's really very little in terms of a regulatory perspective that would stop somebody from doing what this guy did. It's a startling scenario that has played out before. Three years ago, a 17-year-old tried to steal a plane at the Fresno Yosemite Airport, but crashed into a building before she could leave the ground. And in 2018, Richard Russell took this Alaskan Airlines jet. He ultimately crashed the plane and died. But experts say to try and regulate tens of thousands of non-commercial airports is just not feasible. I think that it, it is so difficult to try and figure out how to apply reasonable security measures to prevent something that is so few and far between and so far has, has not resulted in tragedy. Blaine Alexander, NBC News, Tupelo, Mississippi. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.